The traditional role of a real estate agent is a salesperson, but with the internet, why in the world would you need a sales rep? You don't. What you really need is an excellent negotiator, a good psychologist, and a true team player. So if you're planning on buying or selling a house at some point in the future, in this video, I'll share with you what you really need in the digital age. And if you are a real estate agent watching this, there's a good chance this video may forever change the way you do business. Full disclosure, I used to be a traditional real estate agent. I focused on closing as many deals as I can, and I basically did what my clients wanted me to do. So in the last two years, I have changed the way I do business thanks to a new philosophy called PMT, which I have learned from my mentor. And it has completely revolutionized the way I see things and the way I do things. So PMT is all about long-term goals. It's all about operating from a place of love, care, and nurturing. And it's all about doing the right thing. I talk about some of the PMT principles in this video, and I'll make sure to point them out. First of all, you should know that you don't need agents telling you where to live, what to buy, and how much to spend. You shouldn't have anybody influence those types of decisions because they're very personal and only you know your timing, your budget, and your wish list. What you want is a mentor, advisor, and a guide who's going to look out for your best interest. They're gonna give you their honest opinion and they're there to look out for your best interests. You don't want a transactional agent who's in it for that specific transaction and then moving on to the next deal. What you want is a relational agent, right? They're gonna be there for you during the transaction and then long after it closes. So let's talk about this agent skill set that will help you succeed. There are three key skill sets that you should look for. Number one, they have to be an excellent negotiator. Number two, they have to be a psychologist and understand the psychology of all parties involved. And number three, they have to focus on serving everybody. So let's get into each one of these skills. They have to be a great negotiator. They have to be able to assess everyone's motivation and needs. They have to be able to build trust with all the parties involved. And they have to understand how to create a win-win scenario for everybody. You want someone who communicates well with the listing agent and lets them know directly or indirectly that they are a team player. They're there to work not just for their own buyer client, but for the listing agent as well. Strong negotiators make listing agents life a breeze. They know how to structure competitive offers with attractive terms that sellers like while making sure buyers don't make any sacrifices. They know how to sell the buyer and demonstrate their credentials. Price and terms are key but positioning the buyer in a way that makes it clear that they'll bring the deal to the finish line is extremely important. On the list side, there are multiple levels of negotiation. So first you have to negotiate with the seller in order to determine the right selling price of the house or listing price of the house. Then you have to negotiate with vendors such as stagers and contractors in order to net your client, the seller, maximum sales price. And then finally, when offers do come in, you have to negotiate with buyers to get you know, the best uh, possible outcome for your client. A good negotiator invests time, effort, and energy in communicating with their clients in a very respectful way. With the digital age, a lot of times there's a misconception that text and email uh, create efficiency, but they're actually extremely ineffective because you're not really having a conversation. Conversation is a two-way street, and every time you have a conversation, it's an opportunity to uh, build credibility, build trust, so next time you need to, you know, you're negotiating and you need to relay information to your client, pick up the phone and, you know, communicate to them, right? Show your sincerity, show your respect, show your empathy, show them that you're investing time and energy and show them that you care because it'll go a long way. So the second skill of an expert agent is psychology. Agents have to understand the psychology of all the parties involved. There's so many emotions taking place in the heads of buyers and sellers during a typical transaction. You have fear, uncertainty, excitement, annoyance, frustration, and the list goes on. A strong agent has to be a therapist, a psychologist, right? They have to have good self-awareness and they have to be emotionally present and, and there in order to deal with all of these emotions. A good agent knows how to keep their clients and everyone else in a transaction calm. It's very important that an agent ensures that their clients are in control and that the agent is there just to provide support. They are the guide, they are the mentor, they are the advisor. Agents never rush or pressure clients to make a decision. They make it a point to give them time to think. So slowing down is another powerful PMT principle. Slowing down is the ultimate key and answer to 
any problem the minute we slow down we see things more clearly which is why i always encourage my clients to take their time slow down think clearly and this is the only way you'll make the right decision and finally the third skill set is serving everybody when an agent is focused on doing the right thing for everybody it is the best way to serve their client and ensure a successful transaction. A lot of agents think they're only working for their client and that's probably one of the biggest misconceptions in the industry. In order to win, you need team spirit and nothing happens until you can play as a team. And when you're helping everyone, you're not just looking out for your client's best interest, but you're actually helping everyone else win. There is a powerful PMT principle called love and fear. And you know, love and fear are the biggest motivators of human behavior. When we do things out of fear, we do them um, from a place of worry over the consequences. There's an element of pressure where you feel like you have to do something rather than wanting to do it. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell your client to come up in price in order to make the deal happen. Or if you're representing a seller, you're gonna tell them to accept that lower offer, even though ultimately that is not the most ethical decision or ethical advice. But when you do things out of love, you are motivated by a strong desire to do the right thing, meaning you care about your client more than your commission. You're not concerned about whether or not you're going to get something out of it. And I think that's the issue. A lot of people operate with the salesperson mentality uh, where their job is to sell something to, some, <laughs> to someone. That is not the right mindset you should have at all. If the deal ends up coming together, great. It's a bonus. Seller's happy, buyer's happy. You know, you get paid, the, the other agent gets paid, right? But if it doesn't come together, that is totally okay. Do you know why? Is because you were just presented with an opportunity to build trust, to take trust to a whole nother level with your client and with your real estate colleague with whom you're gonna be doing more deals in the future. I've realized that it's not about closing every single deal, but it's about truly taking care of your client. It's a much slower growth, but you end up building something that lasts. Just like building a house, right? If you build a foundation the right way, the thing is gonna last forever. But if you cut corners, if you build it fast, the building is gonna collapse eventually. If you just do the right thing, everything else will fall into place. Your business will grow, you'll have the income, you know, you'll be happier, you'll definitely have less stress in your life, that's for sure. It's instant satisfaction, not instant wealth. It is extremely, extremely satisfying to be truly taking care of your clients. If you do the right thing, and if you truly take care of your people, the universe is gonna take care of you. I have zero doubts about it. All right, friends, I hope you found this video helpful. Now you know what the role of a real estate agent is in the digital age. I'd love to hear about your experience working with real estate agents. Drop a comment. There are over 1.5 million real estate agents in the country, which is pretty insane. So there are plenty of agents, but there's also plenty of room for improvement. And of course, if you're moving to or from Chicago, my team and I would be happy to help. Or if you are in another city or state, we can still help you. We actually work alongside uh, local real estate agents in making sure you are taken care of. Our philosophy at A-Team Advisory is to promote your health and protect your wealth. So that is our promise to our clients and that, that is my promise to you as well. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.